What is up guys, Smash Beans here and welcome to a new video where today I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to give myself 30 minutes and we're going to try and build a castle in this time. I'm only going to use vanilla blocks but of course have shaders on to make things look pretty. Now I'm going to set myself a few rules for this. The castle has to have a wall or a moat and has to have at least four turrets. Okay, 30 minutes, let's start now. Uh, why am I typing castle? Okay, I'm already panicking. We're gonna do some stone and some polished andesite as well. So this is gonna be the main entrance here. Small little turret on the edge and we're gonna have a wall going all the way back here. And for the main building, we're not gonna do it square. We're gonna have a big pointed roof like so with a turret next to it on that side and a square one on this side and another turret at the back like so. Let's get building this thing up. I want this turret to be taller than the actual main roof bit. I feel like that looks nice when you have turrets that are that tall. Can't believe we're five minutes in already and all I've done is put the blooming outskirts in. Okay, we're gonna... Okay, let's just start building up really quickly. I'm not gonna use world edit because I want you guys to attempt to this challenge too. And then we can compare our builds at the end of it as well. And it's unfair if I use world edit and you guys don't. So everyone has a fighting chance. Normally when I do big builds, I like to watch movies and stuff like that as... I just like to relax, not rush, take my time with it. But with this one, I'm just 100% concentration, building as quick as I can, trying to beat the timer because we have used up seven minutes already. Okay, what can we put on the roof? Let's do acacia, why not? And build up this turret as well. I'm not gonna do it at the same height as the other circular turret over there. I like to do my castle turrets different heights. I feel like it just makes it look more natural. If you look at a lot of castles in real life, they have a few turrets the same height, but most of them are kind of different. I like that. I want to make it look like a real castle. Okay, add a little sidewall here. I'm also going to do a little small, another little bit of the castle here. I just like adding different walls and different houses. Oh no, it's raining. Go away, rain. We are almost halfway through, so we're doing pretty slow at the moment. I don't know why I've gone for such a crazy castle. Maybe that was not the best of ideas, but oh well. This turret at the back will be very small in comparison to the others. And you may notice I'm not adding many windows onto the turret, so I'm going to add that at a later point. Oh, doing roofs takes so long to build. Why did I decide to do such a big main area with a massive roof? I should have just done turrets. They're so much easier. Oh well. Okay, so all the turrets are kind of built, although not fully at the moment. Let's build across this roof a little bit more. I think we should be good for time, although I'm not too certain. Oh no, switch block. I'm scared to check how long we have left, but I probably should. 13 minutes, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. The panic has set in. We're just spamming these acacia plank blocks in now. And we've almost finished the main roof section, which is lovely. It's good progress to make. There we go. Let's finish off this side of the wall. Placing this glass is such a pain. Get it? Because it's pain. Oh, never mind. It's a terrible joke. I'm not going to be able to decorate the inside. I feel like for the castle, the inside doesn't really matter. It's the exterior that people care about when it comes to castles. Okay, let's spread this out a little bit, this turret. There we go. Add some windows into this thing. Okay. This small little turret at the back here as well. Let's add little bits to it like so. Lovely. 10 minutes left. The main huge turret. Oh no, the walls. We've only got 10 minutes. It's going to be a, a bit of a disaster. Oh, I'm going to run out of time, I have a feeling. The concentration I have right now is immense. Normally, I build this a way bigger, better roof, but I just don't have time. I'm running out. I did not plan this very well. In fact, I didn't plan this at all. This was all just sort of off the top of my head. I'm not sure what I'm really doing, but there we go. There's that tower. There's another one at the back here. Got to add windows to this tower. Oh no, breaking all the wrong blocks. Six minutes left, let's finish off this wall. Oh my gosh, just placing all these blocks. We have like five minutes left. This is panic central. Okay, the concentration is at an all time high right now. I'm kind of thinking I may be able to finish this though. Although, how long have I got left? Three minutes, yikes. Progress is slow. I want this wall to be like, nice and not just a stupid wall. So I'm adding these little turrets on the edges here. I don't know why I called it a stupid wall. I'm sorry, wall, for insulting you and calling you stupid. Okay, the final little turret here. Why is this wall so long? Why am I missing so many blocks off it? 
Okay, we're coming in on the final wall here. I'm pretty sure after I've done this, this castle shall be complete. So there we have it. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna add some torches on it quickly to light it up. Oh no, I didn't have chance. I forgot to add glass on some bits over here. Actually, oh no, I dropped the torch. Not actually the worst castle I've ever built, to be honest. I'm actually quite impressed with myself now that I've lit it up. Oh, windows, quickly. Time is so close to being up. Oh, and I forgot to add a door. Oh, I'm just gonna add this door and I don't care. It's done. There we go. Time is up. And here is the castle I have built. 30 minutes. Not too bad, to be honest. I'm not a fan of this tower. What I would normally do is I would build this roof higher so it's pointier. But the main building and the shape of it is pretty nice. As you can see, we've got a quite a unique side here. We've got this like little out sticking building, a couple of windows, this tower, this little tower at the back. From this side, there's a big old window there, which is lovely. We've got another turret over here as well. The wall goes all the way round. We've got a nice enclosure. And it's different on this side as well, which is lovely. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this castle, I'm gonna duplicate it, make an identical copy next to it, and then I'm gonna improve it. I want to show you what I was aiming for and also show you some improvements that I could make to this castle when I'm not under a load of pressure. Okay, so here is the duplicate. Now I'm gonna start out by changing the floor in the main courtyard to this nice sort of mix of sandstone and endstone bricks. Using world edit command, as you can see here, the set 50% of sandstone and 50% of the code for endstone bricks. Just to make the courtyard look a little bit nicer, I'm also gonna fix this little mistake here as that looks ugly. Having it as just one stone brick looks kind of bad, so I'm gonna add some texture to it by doing this command, and we've got a mixture of mossy stone bricks and cracked stone bricks as well now, which I think makes it just look a lot more natural. And I'm also gonna add some little platforms inside all of these turrets here as they're just big holes at the moment including the big ones up here. This turret roof, I'm gonna fix it and do it how I said I was gonna do it, by making it really pointy. The way I do these roofs, by the way, is I just use a circle chart and just go inwards in size. Fairly straightforward to do. There we go, that looks like a vast improvement. I was gonna texturize a little bit of this so it's not so square. Very nice. Same with this one, actually. I'm gonna get some acacia slabs and stairs and use these to make some window sills on some of these windows around the side. And the slabs can you be used there to make like a little door frame. Just adds a little bit of texture to the buildings, I find. And then I can add flower pots to them as well to liven it up a little bit. Just makes everything look very nice, doesn't it? Also gonna add a little bit of greenery here by adding in a tree. As a kind of flower bed, plop a tree in the middle, grow it up and bow mill the grass underneath it. Looks nice. Also gonna replace this with a acacia door to match the theme and an acacia stair as well. Also add some fences under here, for like a little drawbridge effect. And add some other buildings into the keep, such as horse stables. Even add a couple of horses in there. Also adding a little garden in on the side next to the horse stable for crops to be grown in to feed the nearby villagers and the kings and queens of the castle. A very nice added area. On this side, I've also added in a fountain just to make things look nicer. And in all the windows of all the towers, seeing as this is just to show off the outside, I'm gonna add some glowstone to make it look nice and lit up inside here. And even if you're not actually decorating the inside, it's always nice to add a floor in there just in case people look through the windows and wonder why it looks so weird and empty. Another cool thing to do is add some banners onto all the towers. Adds a bit of color to the castle and a couple of windows and stuff to these bits here too. And maybe even accent the front gate a little bit. Bam, looks pretty nice. I didn't have time to light everything up either, so make sure you add torches all the way around as we like. 
having everything nice and lit up. So now when you stroll into the castle, there's a lot more to see and it just looks a whole lot nicer. So there is the improved version, which I didn't change much from this original version and only spent about 20 minutes or so doing it. So if I doubled my time, I reckon I could have built a very impressive castle. But there you have it, guys. That's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you want to see me build next time in 30 minutes. I'll attempt it, maybe like a house, a tree house. Any good ideas, let me know in those comments down below. Also, if you want to give this challenge a try for yourself, give it a go. Tweet me your results or Instagram tag me or however you want to contact me. Feel free to show me what you've done. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you another time. Goodbye.